Chess friends, welcome back to another day of the grind. We're one game away from 800. That's exciting. What is this flag? International. Never heard of that country. Um, okay, cool. So Queen's Pawn. Um, I'm actually really tempted to just try pushing e5 and going for the really cheese. England Gambit line. I don't know it all that well, but um, but why not? <laughs> I played a Blitz game earlier. Oh, and I had varying success with it. Okay, so it looks like he's going to decline that. Oh, bummer. I was really hoping he'd go for it. I kind of wanted to try some of this cheesy queen stuff. Um. Oh, well. No worries. Why don't we go ahead and get the dark square bishop out in that case? England gambit declined. Get the dark square bishop out, maybe push a pawn, develop a knight to f6 or something. This is going to be like a reverse London or something. Not really a reverse London, or is it? I guess in the reverse London, the dark square would go to g6. And the light square would come out to, uh, or light square bishop would come out to f5, I suppose. Hmm. I guess if he declines that gambit, you can't really do that though, right? Good pin. Could push a pawn up. Um, hmm. Either push a pawn up or castle. I think either one is fine at this point. Could always attack a queen. Um, I'm uh, I'm kind of foreseeing b4 next, so I'm just gonna make a little hidey hole. For my dark square bishop. I'm imagining he could push b4. If I fall back, he goes to uh, a4. And then there's bad times. Okay, so he's kind of offering to trade a bishop for a knight here, which I am going to take. Okay, so he sort of wastes a move by doing that. Um, I could either attack his queen, he'll probably just guard in. So I'll just castle. I need to keep in mind that this pawn um, just has two defenders now that he's blocked in the queen from d uh, d5 there. Just something to consider. Okay, so he blocks in g4 from the light square bishop. Hmm, yeah. I'd really like to go e6, but unfortunately he's blocked me in here. I wonder if I go for just the tip of his pawn chain here. I kind of want to go for it. I don't know. Is it that good? I need to get my pieces out, but his pawn's kind of blocking the advancement of uh, my knight and my bishop. Here. Maybe I'll just go for it. He only has one defender on that square, and I could just take with the pawn. I'll probably just take with the knight, though. Hmm. 
Hmm. Defense. Don't really want to create this backwards pawn situation. Now I'll just go for it. Okay. I still sort of have the same problem. So maybe I just need to add more attackers to this square. He only has two defenders on d4 there. I guess I could try to kick his bishop away. He'll probably just slide back. b3. Yeah, I was imagining that. Hmm. Uh, I'll just get a rook out on the open file. These pieces aren't threatening anything at the moment. Hmm. Could try to like push this pawn up too. Just develop a piece. I mean, if I could get one more attacker. Hmm. I wonder if I should just push e4 at this point. He takes. Take the knight, take the knight. Take with the rook. I uh, know, but then this pawn is still an issue. Mm. Mm. Maybe it's time to drop this pawn back or something, or uh, this bishop back. Just develop. Mm. Just going to play a developing move. Okay, so I'm expecting his pawn to push up again. Maybe at this point I just go for the trade here. I think d4. Takes on Axe's knight. Now his knight is going to be forced to retreat. Right? Could either just try to add one more attacker to the pawn here. So my queen's very inactive. I'd almost rather fall back to like h7 or something in case he pushes up with like g5. Uh, let's see. I got harassed this way. And this pawn really give me some grief. Yeah, I just don't want him to open up the G file. That's my main thing right now. I don't want to give him the open file. Hmm. 
Hmm. Don't really want to get the rook out onto e4. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not sure what the play in this position is. Just going to be frank. Yeah, really tempted to go h4, but I don't know. I just don't like that move. I think it's center busting time. <laughs> Saw that coming. Uh, I was really hoping this wouldn't happen, but... Yeah, so if I take with the pawn, he's going to retake with the bishop. And then my queen is going to be pinned. Uh, no, even if he... Uh, I mean, I guess I could always just block in with the knight. Or, let me rephrase that. But yeah, even if he takes... No, this should be okay, actually. Yeah, I really don't like playing, um, like, open H files. Uh, I tend to do pretty poorly when I run into these uh, scenarios. Be shocked if he doesn't take this back. I want to take the pawn because uh, his knight's going to be pinned. Yeah, really rough position for me, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, so I kind of saw that coming, but I think it's good just because I have protection on f6. And now his knight's going to be pinned, so I should just be winning a knight. I mean, I also could just deliver check too, but I don't know. I think the taking the knight is just going to be too good here. I know he can take back, but... Hmm. Unfortunately, his queen's kind of blocked in from coming into h5 as well. I do have check as well. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what's better here. So let's see. If I go F2, if you need to take with the rook, and then he's losing a rook, I'm losing a pawn and a rook. Seems like he's trying to double up the attackers here. But even then, I mean, if I just push up to f2, don't I just have mate if he escapes to d2? Because e3 is defended by the rook. I don't believe he can block that in, right? Isn't he kind of forced to take here? I don't know. I'm just going to try it. Best case scenario, I win a rook at the expense of a bishop and a pawn, which I think is still a win. This should just be mate. Oh no, because he has this. Ah, I failed to recognize that. But even then, if I bring my queen out, I can also pin his knight. Let me think, so I'm kind of close. 
No, so I just need two attackers. I also do have mate. I think about this. Or no, I have check on e4. He takes. I take his bishop. And then I think I'm still in good hands. I should just be winning a bishop this way. Mm, no, I'm not. Because he gets his knight out. And then I don't want my queen on g5. Hmm. I'm going to try it. Really? I think he just has to take he has to take with the bishop here and then I just put my queen on e3 and it should just be mate because these are going to both be defended I think he has to take with the bishop here I don't believe there's anything he can do oh he can go that way C five. Well, that was, that was something. I didn't actually think that was going to be mate. <laughs> I didn't calculate it all the way through. <laughs> oh. Well, really quickly, before we dive into the analysis, let's see how long it took to get to 800. So. Let's see. Started playing Rapid back in, what is it, May? And it's October, so that's five months. Yeah, it took roughly five months to get 800. Dang, that's pretty wild. Yeah, I was really plateaued between like 700 and 750 for a really long time. Like, a really long time. It was like three or four months. Uh, so it's kind of wild to be at 800 finally. I know it's still a really amateur noobish number, but it just felt like it took forever to crack through. So that's really cool. And this is the time where I'd like to thank everyone for giving their tips and suggestions on the games. Uh, it's actually really helped me out quite a bit. Um, so yeah, it's always really cool to see when people uh, give suggestions and stuff. Uh, I do read all those. So that's awesome. You did this. <laughs> okay, let's do the quick review. Oh, the miss. Oh, it looks like I had the early mate there. Or not the early mate, early check. Yeah, I could have went for B4, but I just didn't really know the continue continuation after that. He lost some tempo on these two moves. So that was a bit unfortunate for him. It kind of cost him a bit. 
Okay, so 66 was the idea. Uh, get the queen out. E6. wonder why. Oh. My C. Could have just won a pawn. Huh, okay. Not a not a huge deal, I guess. Get the knight out. Oh. Bishop f5. Oh man. I like failed to recognize that for a really long time. Hmm. He probably would have just pushed the pawn and just kicked me back or something. Yeah, my bishop was like really inactive, right? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't notice this uh, f5 diagonal. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's like I pushed the pawns to let my bishop breathe, and then for some reason I kind of failed to notice that. Oh well. Ah, so taking the pawn here was the idea. Yeah, okay, because what I... Yeah, okay, let's look at this. Right, so his knight's still pinned. He takes. And then here, what would have been a big idea? So taking with the queen. Right. Right, right, right. Now he would have had a really hard time. So rook h2, queen e5. Really? Create a battery down here or something? Hmm. Oh, I see. I see. Because that protects the pawn. Queen e5, okay. Bishop takes, yeah, so he can pin the pawn next. And queen h2, oh, I see, it attacks the rook. Okay, the pawn is not attacked, fortunately. Queen d3, so attacks the pawn. Mm. Yeah, he's got three defenders on e2 in this scenario. So then queen f2. Oh, sure, because we're defended there. Right, now he's forced back. And then pawn takes. Okay, cool. Well, I don't want to look through that line too much. Taking the knight was the idea here. This idea just seemed too fun to not try. <laughs> yeah, I know it's probably not the move, but it was just really fun to try that. Boy, uh... This seems very risky, giving up the knight. Oh, that's a blunder. No way. Oh, there's just mate and two. Oh, okay. Right. So where he's he forced back to here? Oh, and then just mate. Oh, wow. Interesting. I can't believe a sacking the queen that way was the right move kind of wild yeah this is a very passive move i wasn't quite sure what he was trying to accomplish here but it's okay this was a really satisfying find here and this was more or less luck i didn't even calculate the fact that that this was going to be made. So really, he only had, like, what, four squares to escape to. So e4 was taken by the queen and the knight. Um, this uh, b4 was taken by the bishop. c4 was taken by the pawn. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Well, gg. Emilicho, a one from international country gg and hoorah for 800 finally and uh, yeah thanks guys for watching and see you in the next game